is the season. Hey folks, Mac and McGee. As you see here, I've got a wild pig and it's very odd. It's not like normal wild pigs from this area. A friend of mine had it tearing up his place around his pond. He went ahead and took care of it and called me and I'm on a roof. I'm up on this roof right here. But we realized we're about to have this thing dried in. We can do this. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna come and get it. I've got an idea. I'm gonna try to make some sausage, some special sausage. As I told you before, my buddy Eric, two guys on the Cooler Channel, has been making some great sausages in the month of October. That's in the past, but the entire series, Celebrate Sausage, season three, is up on his channel. You can see that. And I'm gonna make some of that sausage now. Before I do that, I've gotta gut this thing, dress it out, skin it, and get down to the meat. And I'm gonna do that part on Gab because YouTube don't like it. It don't even like this red water coming out of here. So if you wanna see me gut this thing, you can do it on Gab because Gab allows me to show it in great detail. And how else are people gonna learn if they don't see it in detail? So I'm fixing to have some meat. I'm gonna make a special sausage that I've never eaten before. Let's do it. All right, here we are. This is the next day. What I'm gonna do, I am going to take the bacons of the pig. This is the pork belly. Some of it is gonna be too thin to really make good bacon with. So I am going to do this. Anything that's too thin to make bacon with, I'm going to incorporate into my sausage. How do you like them apples? I have to say for a wild pig, this was a very nice, very quality meat. Come across there. And what this is gonna do, this is going to serve as our fat. It is fat, 100% perfect fat for this kind of a cook. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut this meat up where it'll go through the grinder and we're gonna pop this pan right here into the freezer and let this meat chill. You need it to be down there around freezing. It's really nice. If you don't, you're gonna experience a lot of fat smear and problems. So I'm gonna get this all cut up. And we're gonna get into the sausage making part of it. All right, in this video, we're gonna make two different sausages. Two guys in a cooler have really inspired me to make sausages. I usually have done breakfast sausage, they're just fried in patties, and that's good. But after every day for a while, you get tired of it. But anyway, we're gonna crank up the generator and get this thing running, and we're gonna make a Catalina Butifara. I didn't know that word existed and I probably won't remember that word in about five minutes, but that's what the first one is. I learned that from Eric at Two Guys in the Cooler. If you want to see exact measurements, you're going to have to go to his channel because if you know me, I don't do exact measurements. But I do like it a lot because it's so simple. The only two seasonings, the only two spices in that, butifara, salt and pepper. That makes it simple. We're going to do that right now. When we mix it, we're gonna add some red wine. That's gonna help bind it, and it's gonna give it a flavor. To savor, let's go. Catalonian butifara. All right. This meat, fat meat, very beautiful. Nice and chilled. As always, I got Caleb, my right hand man, helping me out here. That is some just beautiful meat. It's very light in color. It's not really wild hog looking meat. I think it had some tame in it, some domestic. All right, we're 
right, we got that done. I'm gonna next go ahead and switch out my course plate. As always, I always clean the head out good before putting the fine plate on because if you don't, it won't, it'll sit there and spin and it won't grind. It'll just smear and carry on like you won't believe. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is split this meat into half and half so I can do two batches. All right, while we make one batch, I'm gonna take this batch right here, throw it in the fridge, let it keep chilling, keep that temperature down as low as possible. All right, while I'm getting this mixed and salted and stuff, Mr. Caleb is going to get the fire going and we're going to taste it before we stuff it because that would be a kind of sad to get finished and it not be any good. So I'm just going to pour some salt in, take some pepper, open it up, pepper it. That's all the seasoning there is so I'm going to go ahead and just use a fair little amount of it. There. Look at him go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, she's burning. All right, she's burning, she's burning. All right, I'm gonna put as much of this as I can up here in the mixer, up in the grinder. What this is gonna do, when this goes through this time, it's gonna start extracting the protein. That's something else I learned brand new this year on season three, I never really understood that much about protein extraction. This meat has not had the protein extracted and I want you to look. It just falls right out of my hand. Once the protein's extracted, it won't do that no more. You ready to plunge that, baby? Yeah. Right. right there's the whole plunger down in there. That looks like about a 15% fat to me. All right, it's starting to get tacky. It's not fully ready yet. Wow, I can't even get that off. Longbow banjo's got a tack grip. Boys and girls, I can't get that on. I thought it was because my hands were wet. Do we have one of them rubber grippers? There you got one of them things I can nub in that thing up with. Mm -hmm. I got it. What? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. That's my first good dose of humility today. Probably won't be the last. Longbow Banjo made this wine and he let me have it. I'm gonna put about fourth of a cup in here and then I'm gonna mix that really well and incorporate that. I ain't letting you screw it back on. I'll never do that. All right. Now, mix and mix and mix and mix. One thing that I learned on Celebrate Sausage, he had a German sausage maker. That German sausage maker was teaching about, well, he made some really nice uh, bratwurst. He was teaching about the phosphates in the meat. He uses phosphates in the meat because when you hang a when you hang meat and it matures, basically here in here in America we say it ages. Those phosphates dissipate and go away. What the phosphates do, it allows the meat to absorb moisture when you grind it and mix it. If you don't have the phosphates, it won't do that. He said fresh meat has phosphates in it. So that's what we have is fresh meat here. At this point, we're gonna just put some meat on our hand, hold it upside down, it fell right out, so we're gonna mix some more. Uh, usually I see Eric, he, he'll put it in his mixture for about two minutes or something like that. So I'm gonna just 
stir this for a while longer and see if it changes. See if we have a visible change. All right, I mixed it for a minute or two. Let's see if that's any better. It hangs right in there. At this point, I'm gonna fry up a little batch of it, a patty. We're gonna taste it, see if it needs more salt and pepper. That's the only two things it could use more of, possibly. And we'll start stuffing. All right, look here, folks. Beautiful, beautiful sausage. We're gonna let this cool off just a bit. And we're gonna try it. All right. Here we are. Let me see a bit how hot it is. Not hot, it's not pink in the middle, but man, look at the juiciness. Just dripping juicy. Try that if you want. It needs more salt. Take a bite of that. It needs more salt. It needs more salt. Well, at this point, that's gonna be very easy to fix. I'm gonna fix it right now. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody just said, McGee, if you would measure and do stuff, it'd be so much easier on you. Let's do some more pepper too. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. What do you think about it, kid? Have you eaten some yet? No. Nah. No? Mm, it's good. It did need more salt, I can tell you that right off the bat. That, that is really good. Matt, you want to help hold this? All right, we're on the board now. Something I learned was to test this in order not to over tighten where you can make your links, squeeze it and make sure that it stays, the indention stays in the sausage. Is that a hard job, everybody? Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Is that it? No, I don't think so. I just... The booty father has done wore out his booty. No. I can't believe it's still got meat in it. That's it, eh? All right, back it up. We'll fill her back up. All right, this is going to be about half a stuffer here. That comes. We've wore the pup out. Is that it? Beautiful. All right. I'm going to cut the rest off. We only have enough here for another couple links. Cut it on. Pull it down here and twist it. Got her tied off. Now, it's just a matter of linking it. So, I'm going to try linking it like this. Pinch it with this. And I'm going to skip one. Pinch it, do this, oh yeah. Skip, pinch it, do this. They're not all gonna be exactly the same length, but who cares? Here we are. All right, at this point, I'm gonna throw this in the refrigerator. Let this chill back down while we get started on our cheddar jalapeno. All right, here is the stuff to make my jalapeno cheddar sausage. I've got my salt, my pepper, I've got paprika, smoked paprika, and I've got marjoram, and that's basically gonna be it. So I'm gonna keep this in the refrigerator so these don't start getting soft. I want the cheese cubes to stay very firm. I'm going to take the stems off of the peppers, and I'm just gonna put them in seeds and all when we grind it and we're going to do that right now first of all let's do our salt this regular old sea salt unidized right over there black pepper hey dad there's one more stem on that one i see it i get it i won't i won't put it there black pepper paprika I love a very paprika filled sausage, I'll tell you right now. And marjoram. Marjoram, I don't know how to say it. 
just like that. Now we're going to have a flavorful sausage that just about anybody is going to enjoy. A little more salt. There we go. We're going to grind all this through right now. I'm going to go pop this back in the fridge. Let's do it. This meat is frozen somewhat. And that's exactly what I like. Grind this through at about 32 degrees, 31. Perfect. You ready, Kayla? Yes. Let's do it. Jalapeno, meat and spices. You can see the jalapeno green. Yeah, beautiful. Jalapeno. It's gonna go good with that cheddar in. Yeah. Oh. It's all of it right there. Let's see it. The generator can be turned off now. Turn off the generator! At this point, it's time to pour the cheese to it. And we're going to stir this and incorporate that all in while at the same time extracting our proteins. In an upcoming video, you're going to see another sausage recipe that I learned from two guys in the cooler that really has my interest peaked the meat is in the refrigerator in the freezer actually chilling right now getting ready i'm gonna make it today but it's not gonna be in today's video and it is potato sausage and man oh man i am excited to try that all right let's try it see if the protein's extracted only like that everything good so we're good it's good to go and the seasoning is all mixed into it. Well, it's time to start stuffing, big boy. And here we go. Jalapeno cheddar coming through. Man. Getting hard. Keep it trucking. Oh, I don't know how I got that hard, but maybe it was like a, a block of cheese. Going and it probably was a block of cheese. A block of cheese block. Here goes another one. Oh, man. You think I cut my cheese too big? Eh, probably not, but... <laughs> Mary, you wanna come crank this for him? He's having trouble. Huh? David's up here. I got it, Mary. Sure. Sure he claims he's got it, but I don't know. He's oh, hard on it. He lacks about another inch or two to have this, and then we got to do one more. I'm gonna link this and get this in the fridge for a while and let it incorporate those spices into that meat. And then we're gonna get to cooking and see how good it tastes. All right. Oh, they looking good. Let's see what we got here. I can already tell they're not, uh, not done yet, but I do wanna see what's going on. We're a lot closer than I thought we'd be. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, we got the butifara out. That's this right here. We're going to let it cool off a bit. Jalapeno cheddar is still out there. It was about 144. I'm going to let it come on up a little bit, and we'll get it in here. According to what Eric says, if you let them sit out like this after you smoke them, they bloom. I don't know. You could. I mean, you could tell me anything. I'd believe it, I guess. 
So if, if it sets out and blooms, it blooms. I don't know if it blooms. They say it turns a more mahogany color and gets real pretty. I don't know. But whether it does or not, it don't matter. We're going to try it out and eat it. I'm going to pull this. We're reading 150. This is not high temp cheddar. This is just regular cheddar cheese. So I don't want to take it any hotter than it is now. Going to pull them out. I can already tell you this is going to be the best of all the sausage we've made. Mm. I can already tell you that. We're going to go in. We're going to bloom these bad boys. And we're going to try them. Catalonian Butifara. I have to say, that is kind of hard for me to really remember. But anyway, everybody reach over here and get you some. This is just salt and pepper, a little red wine. It smells so good. Mm. Mm. That has more flavor than what you would think with just salt and pepper. Do anybody want to explain what they're tasting? Mm. Mm. Weird. Weird? Yeah. Ham. <laughs> it is a little like ham, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I can definitely taste yeah. the wine. You can? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Good. All right, everybody mm -hmm. try you. Cheddar jalapeno. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> 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 Get really nice. I can tell right now I didn't cut enough pieces. <laughs> Alright. Tell me what you're tasting. Heat. Heat? <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. Eat it up. Good all mixed together. I think all I like that one combined. better. I like the second. That second one is just, I knew it from the start, it's going to be hard to beat. Hard to beat. This meat is beautiful. What is it? I love it. Especially when it's grilled. It's really good. Matt went in for the last Catalonian Butifara. Now I was going for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. Man. Going now, you can clearly see why I have to make so much because just in a simple taste test, we weren't even eating a meal. They devoured two of them. <laughs> that was a simple taste test. <sighs> I'm sorry, Eric, two guys in the Cooler Channel, but when you, when you do your taste test, you usually take two bites. This is unreal right here. Two whole sausage links gone. Are you happy? Was that delicious? Oh, boy. If it makes people like this good, I think we need to make more of it. The, wine. <laughs> the wine's getting it. <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be looking for our next sausage video. We got potato sausage coming right up. But for today, it, this is all we got for you. So we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.